So I've done a couple of videos in the past for video settings. I've done one for Instagram and one for Facebook, um, but I haven't actually done one for YouTube yet. So today I'm going to address that and I'm going to show you the best export settings for your videos on YouTube. So the first thing to understand is it's good practice to export your videos in the same resolution as they were filmed and edited. Okay, so if you film and edit in 1080p, then you should be exporting your videos in 1080p. Exporting them in 4K doesn't really work. You're not going to add any extra resolution to the films. You're just going to make the files bigger for no real gain. Export your 1080p files in 1080p. If you film and edit in 4K, then export in 4K and then you'll maintain the resolution that you filmed and edited in. Now there are a few exceptions to this. If you film in 4K and then do some fairly extensive editing that involves a lot of cropping, then you might be better off exporting your video in 1080p because you'll still get an HD video, but the cropped images will probably look sharper in 1080p than they would do if you exported in 4K. Now this is going to be minimal, but this is just my suggestion. If you're doing some fairly extensive editing on 4K videos, you might think about exporting it in 1080p. Other than that, if you're mixing 1080p and 4K footage, then personally, I would export in 4K resolution. Other videographers may export in 1080p. It's a bit of a preference, this one, but personally, if I'm mixing 1080p and 4K footage, I'll export in 4K resolution. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll just show you the export settings that I use. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro. I've got this drone footage that I've just dropped onto my timeline. This is a 4K footage. I've done no editing to it really at all, but I'm just gonna show you how to export. In this case, in 4K, but I'll show you the 1080p settings as well. First things first, I'm just gonna show you a neat little shortcut. Now, if you highlight all the footage in your project, now in this case, I've only got the one clip, but if you had more than one clip, you'd highlight all the clips. If you hit the forward slash stroke question mark key, then that will add in and out points to the start and the finish of your project. So you know you've got your in and out points in the right place. Now obviously, if you just wanted to export part of the project, you can use I to create an in point and then O to create an out point and it will just export that part of your project. But we're gonna highlight it all and press question mark again. So we're gonna highlight and export the whole project. So now we wanna bring up our export screen. You can either go to File, Export Media, and that'll bring up the screen, or you can just Control M or Command M on a Mac. For format, we're gonna keep it at H.264. Okay, that's the correct one. For preset, we're gonna find our 4K YouTube preset, which is right down the bottom, okay? That's gonna give us a nice start. Output name, then obviously you change the name and you can change where your file is going to go. You want to make sure that export video and export audio is ticked. Okay, so we want both the audio and video. We don't want to change any of the width or the height here. Render at maximum depth, I always click this on. And your aspect, I've never once had to change that from square pixels. Okay, your profile and level, you want to leave this as it is depending on whether you choose Ultra HD YouTube one or the 1080p YouTube one. They're slightly different, I'll show you in a minute, but you want to leave it as high and 5.2 for 4K resolution videos. Okay, you don't want to change any of this. Now, this is where you want to change a few things. At the moment, it's on VBR one pass, which is variable bitrate one pass. Now, you've got three options here. You've got CBR, which is constant bitrate, VBR one pass or VBR two pass. Now a constant bit rate will just export at that same bit rate for every part of your video. Now you may have a video where there's loads of action going on in one section and nothing going on in another. So with CBR, I mean, the difference is gonna be minimal. I'll be honest, not sure if it would even be noticeable. But having said that, I would choose VBR two pass. Now VBR one pass, variable bit rate one pass, will just export in one go. So it'll look at your video, decide which bits of your video need more bit rate added, and then export it all in one pass. Now VBR2 pass will spend one pass looking at your video, examining which bits need more bit rate than the other bits, work it all out, and then on the second pass, it'll export it all out. So for me, that's the best one to choose. So we're gonna choose VBR2 pass. Now it's given us this target bit rate and a maximum bit rate. On YouTube's website for 4K video, they advise for standard 
frame rates, 24, 30, 60, then the bit rate you should use is between sort of 40 and 55 megabits per second. From their preset drop down, they've got it at 40. So that's around what they're saying on their website, okay? Now, what I would do here is I'd leave the target bit rate at 40. So that's around what they suggest, but I would tweak the maximum bit rate by another 20 megabytes per second. So up to 60, I would say. Anything more than that, then you're not really gonna gain anything. Depending on what you filmed at, there's only so much bit rate that you can add to your export. So I would keep it at 40 and 60 for a 4K video. Then I would go to use maximum render quality. I just check the audio is at maximum. So it is 320 bit rate. Okay, go to video, use maximum render quality, and then bang, I would export that out. So if you wanna save this preset for next time, then just click on the save preset, type in what you wanna call the preset, 4K YouTube. Okay, and then that's gonna be saved for next time. So you don't have to do all this again. Okay, so we've saved our 4K export settings. Now we're gonna to go to our 1080p. So we go to the preset that's already in our drop down for YouTube 1080p. Now obviously this isn't a 1080p video, but I'm just, for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna show you how you do it. We would obviously choose where we're sending our file, blah, blah, blah. Keep export video or audio, all that's the same. Render at maximum depth. We're gonna keep it at high and 4.2. And again, we're gonna change it to VBR2 pass. For 1080p full HD videos, YouTube recommends between 10 and 15 megabits per second. Okay, so they've given us 16 here. So we're gonna keep the lower one at 16 and our maximum bit rate we're gonna change to 25. It's not an exact science, just add a little bit more just so that you can give your video that extra oomph. And then we're gonna hit use maximum render quality again. Check the audio, although the audio is gonna be right. And then again, we're gonna export that out. Again, we're just gonna save the preset. This time we'll call it 1080p. YouTube, boom, and there we go. All done. Okay, so they're my export settings for YouTube video. Hope you found this one useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Catch you in the next one.